I've been learning Manum, and I decided to use it to share with you something interesting I realized a few years back. I was working on image compression. Image compression algorithms typically divide up images into macro blocks. Typical sizes are 8x8 or 16x16. And then they commonly use the discrete cosine transform to extract frequency components. But I always wondered how the phase was recovered if there were no sine components. Here I'm going to show you how this works. Let's draw a coordinate axis and plot an array of discretely sampled data. To compute a discrete Fourier transform, we need to multiply these data points by sine and cosine waves and add them up. We have to do this for multiple different frequencies. This will generate a sine coefficient and a cosine coefficient for each frequency. These include the fundamental frequency of the data set, twice the fundamental frequency, three times the fundamental frequency, four times and so on, up to a factor of one half the number of samples. There is also zero times the fundamental frequency to get the DC component which I didn't draw here. To turn this into a discrete cosine transform, we're going to drop half the data points so that we can continue to use the same cosine frequencies. Next, we're going to shift the samples to the right by half a sample period. This is important for symmetry we need in the next step. Now we are going to reflect these data points around the y-axis. We also have to extend all of our sine and cosine waves into the negative direction. There is an important thing to notice now about the sine waves. Where a data point is multiplied by a positive sine value on one side of the y-axis, the same data point is multiplied by the negative of that same sine value on the other side. This makes all the sine components cancel to zero. The reflection is the magical step that eliminates all of the sine components from the discrete cosine transform. The next thing to notice is that both the cosine and the data points are symmetric about the y-axis. What is computed for the positive x-direction is exactly the same as for the negative x-direction. Therefore we can remove everything to the left of the y-axis and do half the work. Don't forget that we have to multiply by all the same frequencies. But only up to half the period as for the Fourier transform. And only by the cosine waves. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.